Ra. As the preeminent sun god in Egyptian mythology, Ra represents the life-giving force of the sun and the cycle of day and night. Often depicted with the head of a falcon, crowned with a sun disk, he sails across the sky during the day in his solar bark, illuminating the world with his radiance. Ra's journey through the underworld during the night symbolizes the perpetual cycle of life, death, and rebirth. He is revered as the creator of all existence, embodying the concept of divine order and providing warmth, light, and sustenance to the world. Osiris The god of the afterlife, death, and resurrection, Osiris symbolizes the eternal cycle of life and death in Egyptian mythology. As the mythological first king of Egypt, he brought civilization, agriculture, and law to the land, teaching humanity the art of cultivation and the importance of righteous living. However, his brother Set, jealous of his power, murdered him, leading to Osiris becoming the ruler of the underworld. Through the magic of his devoted wife Isis, Osiris was resurrected, becoming the judge of the dead and the guarantor of their eternal life in the afterlife. Isis Known as the goddess of magic, motherhood, and fertility, Isis embodies the nurturing and protective aspects of femininity in Egyptian mythology. Often described as a throne-shaped headdress or with the hieroglyphic sign of her name on her head, she is revered as the ultimate mother figure and the epitome of maternal love and devotion. She is also venerated as the patroness of magic and wisdom, offering her assistance to those in need and guiding humanity towards enlightenment and spiritual growth. Seth Revered as the god of chaos, storms, and deserts, Seth embodies the unpredictable and destructive forces of nature in Egyptian mythology. Often depicted with the head of an unidentified animal, possibly an aardvark, he represents the primal forces of disorder and disruption. Seth is notorious for his violent rivalry with his brother Osiris, culminating in the murder of the latter and the usurpation of his throne. However, he is also venerated as a protective deity, defending the kingdom of Egypt against external threats and safeguarding its borders from invasion. Horus As the god of the sky, kingship, and protection, Horus symbolizes the divine authority and legitimacy of the pharaoh in Egyptian society. Described as a falcon-headed man, he is revered as the son of Osiris and Isis and the avenger of his father's murder at the hands of his uncle Set. Horus embodies the principles of justice, order, and righteousness, defending the rightful ruler of Egypt against the forces of chaos and tyranny. Anubis Regarded as the god of mummification and the afterlife, Anubis holds a crucial role in guiding the souls of the deceased through the perilous journey to the underworld. Often depicted as a jackal-headed man or as a full jackal, he oversees the embalming process and ensures that the deceased receive proper burial rites to guarantee their safe passage to the afterlife. Anubis is also responsible for conducting the weighing of the heart ceremony, in which the heart of the deceased is weighed against the feather of truth to determine their moral worthiness. As the guardian of the necropolis and the protector of the dead, Anubis is venerated as a compassionate and merciful deity, offering solace and guidance to souls in their final journey. Thoth Known as the god of wisdom, writing, and the moon, Thoth embodies the intellectual and creative aspects of divine knowledge in Egyptian mythology. Depicted as a man with the head of an ibis, he is revered as a scribe of the gods and the inventor of writing, mathematics, and science. Thoth played a pivotal role in the judgment of the dead, recording the deeds and actions of mortals in the sacred texts of the afterlife. Bastet Revered as the goddess of home, fertility, and domesticity, Bastet embodies the nurturing and protective aspects of the feminine divine in Egyptian mythology. She is described as a woman with the head of a cat. She represents the fierce yet nurturing qualities of motherhood and family life. She is also associated with music, dance, and joyous celebrations, inspiring feelings of happiness and contentment in her devotees. Sekhmet As the lioness-headed goddess of war, destruction, and healing, Sekhmet embodies the dual nature of ferocity and compassion in Egyptian mythology. Sekhmet is feared for her ability to unleash devastating plagues and epidemics upon humanity, punishing the wicked and restoring balance to the natural order. However, she is also venerated as a healing deity, capable of curing diseases and ailments with her divine intervention. Ptah Regarded as the creator god and the patron of craftsmen and artisans, Ptah embodies the transformative power of divine craftsmanship in Egyptian mythology. Often depicted as a mummified man wearing a skullcap and holding a scepter, Ptah is venerated as the master architect of the universe, who brought the world into being through the power of his thoughts and words. Ptah's divine craftsmanship serves as a testament to the beauty and complexity of the natural world, reminding humanity of the sacredness of creation and the interconnectedness of all living things. Newt 
known as the goddess of the sky and the heavens, Nut embodies the infinite expanse of the cosmos in Egyptian mythology. Depicted as a woman arching over the earth, her body adorned with stars, she represents the boundless potential of the universe. Nut is venerated as the mother of Osiris, Isis, Seth, and Nephthys, who she gave birth to each morning and swallowed each evening, symbolizing the cycle of day and night. Nut's expansive presence reminds humanity of the eternal nature of existence, urging them to embrace the mysteries of the cosmos and seek enlightenment through spiritual contemplation. Nephthys, revered as the goddess of mourning, lamentation, and the protector of the dead, Nephthys embodies the compassionate and nurturing aspects of the feminine divine in Egyptian mythology. Described as a woman wearing the hieroglyphic sign of her name on her head, she represents the guiding light that leads souls through the darkness of the underworld. Nephthys is venerated as the faithful companion of her sister Isis, assisting her in the resurrection of Osiris and protecting the deceased in their journey to the afterlife. Nephthys' comforting presence brings solace and reassurance to the grieving, reminding them of the eternal bond between the living and the dead. Amun, Amun-Ra, wearing a double-plumed crown as the king of the gods and the god of air and invisibility, Amun embodies the mysterious and omnipotent qualities of the divine in Egyptian mythology. During a rebellion, he fused with Ra, becoming transcendental and known as Amun-Ra. Amun-Ra is venerated as the supreme creator and ruler of all existence of the new world, whose divine will shapes the destiny of gods and mortals alike. Ma'at Regarded as the goddess of truth, justice, and cosmic order, Ma'at embodies the fundamental principles of harmony and balance in Egyptian mythology. Often depicted as a woman with wings and an ostrich feather on her head, she represents the immutable laws that govern the universe. Ma'at was considered to be the daughter of Ra and was also married to Thoth, god of wisdom, 